Back in 1953, American photographer Bob Miser began making short physique films to supplement his growing photo studio called Athletic Model Guild. These films, and the thousands that would follow, would eventually become the largest archive of moving images by a single artist in the world. The films range from posing films to short story and fantasy films to full-length features by the 1970s. They span genres from westerns to sci-fi to 1950s teen melodramas, with characters ranging from gladiators, wrestlers, bandits, scientists, doctors, magicians, and juvenile delinquents. Within a few years from his launch, he had his own Hollywood-type studio system and created a demand for beefcake films that hundreds of other photographers would soon copy. Almost two years ago, we at the Bob Miser Foundation launched a Kickstarter project that was about archiving a portion of the million still photographs and negatives that Miser created in his lifetime. With that funding, we were able to acquire needed supplies to hold this vast amount of material. In doing so, shocking discoveries were made about the models, the work, and about Bob. These discoveries are currently on exhibit at New York University's 80 Washington Square East Gallery along with nearly 400,000 negatives that are being archived by NYU interns and volunteers as a part of the installation. A recent piece in the New York Times says, The exhibit of 45 photographs works rather as a corrective to the idea of Miser only as a beefcake monger. It makes a good case as an artist with interests and imagination considerably more expansive than what his popular reputation suggests. As we look deep into Miser's work, we discover that limiting his output to only that of a gay pornographer insults his greater vision and legacy. I've been working here for about two and a half years, um, right around since we did the first Kickstarter campaign. I've seen the archive develop from where it started before we had the system, and now I've kind of been here as we build it. It's great to kind of be a part of a history that I don't think a lot of people know about, or at least um, maybe you don't learn about it in schools too much and things kind of like that, but I've learned a lot about Bob Miser himself. It's your contributions to the past Kickstarter that made all that possible. Now as we move on to the next phase of the archiving effort, our new project revolves around Miser's film work. Miser produced and shot about 3,000 short films and 2,500 three-hour videos in his lifetime. That amounts to over 8,000 hours of film, and it would take just short of a full year of watching them non-stop to see everything. Miser used tongue-in-cheek titles such as Sailor a la Carte, Slave at the Roman Bath, Street Fight, Soldier and the Yogi, Surfer and the Hodad, and Strongman and the Farm Boys, just to pull a few titles from the S catalog. This project will produce a series of 10 DVD compilations to become part of the Bob Miser Foundation Film Archive by digitizing and remastering a number of films that will equal approximately 15 hours of footage, about 90 minutes per DVD. This will create new permanent master digital negatives for the Foundation and also make these films available to the public for the first time in decades. Miser kept his films stored in these tomato boxes and they're still in the same boxes and they're ready for new cans. You can see the cans that Miser used are still uh, 50 some years old. You know he would keep the film core in here along with some written notes. Doesn't say much. Um, other times he'd make little handwritten notes in here about the film. These notes were written on a paper bag. Um, but these cans will be replaced with newer film cans like this one. Um, these are more state-of-the-art. Pete, hey, I man, it's hot in here. Look at that thermometer. Oh, it it's is about to burn either. up. Yeah, it is. Oh, it ain't. Would you look at that temperature? Just look at it. Ah, uh, it's almost 120. I don't know about the soap junkers. Looks like it's about 30 years old, man. Oh, it's an old bike. I don't know, man. Well, look, I need it, and I need it for tonight, okay? Oh, man, that's what it's too old to fix. 
Well, I need it. I gotta have it for tonight. Look, man, there's nothing I can do for you, I don't think. Well, if you can get it done by tonight, do the best you can, all right? Well, I'll try. When Bob edited films, there was a lot of material that he could not use because of the laws of the day. But he did save all the film that fell to the cutting room floor. There's examples here in a box like this that he kept in these old film boxes. And he'd just keep the cuttings of the film. These have not seen the light of day since he edited the films some 40, 50 years ago. Monies raised will go directly to pay for the digital capture of the films by a master lab in San Francisco that we have used for earlier DVD compilations. The budget also allows for purchase of modern archival cans for these films, and the original film cans will be retired after half a century of use. We have volunteers and interns that are happy to assist in the actual remastering and DVD authoring, and no money will pay for labor. All funds will be used directly to preserve these films. Future proceeds from the DVDs, by the way, also go back into the Miser Foundation. If we possibly go over our goal, we'll simply archive and remaster more films. We calculate it could eventually take nearly 200,000 to remaster all the titles properly. Right now, we are taking this in small bites. With your funding help through Kickstarter, we'll be able to move forward on the entirety of this project with less of a funding hurdle. I hope you can help in any way you can. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this.